Moving down to another story we first received from our help desk. It has been more than 40 days and nights since Hurricane Barrel tore down trees throughout our area, and that led to huge piles of debris being left outside a lot of homes. And for some people, the debris has still not been picked up. Devin Clark visited one family in Garden Oaks dealing with that very issue, and he has their story and some advice for others in the same situation and how to get it resolved. It has been seven weeks. So After Hurricane Barrel, Linda and Rusty Reichley went from looking at a lush and lively oak tree that shaded their property to seeing its dead trunk and limbs piled in front of their home. July 8th, I called 311 because I knew. So we, you know, we got it taken care of and got it all piled out here. Solid waste crews never came. And probably after about three weeks I, it was the first time I called 311 back and they were like, we've got your number, you know, they're they're going to take care of it. So let it go. But after still no action, they said they decided to contact their councilman, Mario Castillo's office. No resolve. They say they also tried the mayor's office. Still nothing. Their frustration has reached its peak. And I saw all the workers on another block. Yesterday, I thought, great, it worked. They're cleaning us up because there's another block that's the same situation. They picked all of them up today, and every we both asked them about coming to our house, and they said, no, we don't have a work order for that. Furthermore, you got an email saying that your ticket was closed. Well, I got that today at 320, and there's two different case numbers on here, but it, it, it says it's canceled. And it has your address, so this is the right location that they've already yeah, been they, they know about worse than just an eye saw the right we say they're most concerned because this massive pile of debris is blocking what's normally a passageway for kids to get to their Montessori school right next door instead they're forced into a busy and narrow street the good news is after we contacted the mayor's office I'm sure it will get resolved. We also spoke to the city solid waste department where a representative said she is very sorry for the inconvenience and also promised to quickly resolve the issue. Uh, it is sad that yeah. that's what it takes. In Garden Oaks, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.